Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I want to explain the topic on about humidity. Humidity means amount of water vapor present in the air. Water may present in the atmosphere in the form of solid, liquid and gas. In terms of volume, the atmosphere contains less than 4% of water vapor. Water vapor of the atmosphere is derived from oceans, lakes, rivers, and snow-covered areas. Water also derived from plants and animals through transpiration and respiration. This is the image of wet and dry bulb thermometer is the instrument to measure humidity. Water cycle. Water vapor goes into atmosphere through the process of evaporation, but as it moves upward, it becomes cold and condensation takes place. And ultimately, in a favorable condition, it again comes down to the surface of the earth as fog, mist, rain, and snow. The whole processes of evaporation, condensation, and precipitation is commonly known as water cycle. Now types of humidity. It has three types. Number one absolute, number two specific, number three relative. Absolute humidity. When the weight of water vapor expressed with respect to the unit volume of air is called absolute humidity. Weight of water vapor is taken in grams and the volume of air is in cubic meter. Absolute humidity may be different at different times as well as temperatures. Hot air has capacity to hold more water vapor than the cold air. For example, at 10 degree Celsius temperature, one cubic meter of air can hold 11.4 gram of water vapor. But the same one cubic meter of air can hold 22.2 gram at 21 degree Celsius temperature. Specific humidity, the ratio between the weight of water vapor and the weight of the air is called specific humidity. The weight of the water vapor is taken in grams and that of the air is in kilograms. Now relative humidity, relative humidity is the ratio between the water vapor actually present in the air and its capacity to hold water vapor at a given temperature it expressed in percentage. At a given temperature when air contains water vapor up to the maximum extent of its capacity, the air is said to be saturated. At this stage, a small increase amount of water vapor leads to condensation and fog, dew, frost, etc. are formed. So friends, if you like my video, then don't forget to subscribe, like and share my channel. Thanks for watching my video.